What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Stefan here from App Stuff, and in today's video, we are gonna be talking about how AI is completely wrecking the coding interview landscape and how you can adjust to make sure that you can stay ahead of the game. And we are gonna be kicking things off with this absolutely insane story about a 21-year-old student from Columbia named Roy Lee that built out an application that uses AI to help you cheat on coding interviews. Uh, I want us to take a second and look at how funny these non-technical blogs try to write about technical stuff to cheat a test. And it was for solving computer coding riddles, like we're playing Zelda or something. So what they mean here, guys, is data structure and algorithm problems from Leap Code, basically. So this kid, Roy Lee, absolute savage, built out this app that helps you cheat on coding interviews, right? And it's undetectable in screen sharing systems. So it just gives you the solution to the problem. It gives you an explanation of how to break it down. And you can just read all of this stuff directly from your screen and interviewers can't see that it's up on your screen. It's undetectable via the screen sharing system, which is awesome. So that's just the first part of the story. It gets even better and then it gets even better after that. So this kid took multiple coding interviews, with big tech companies like Amazon, Net, uh, Meta, Google, and Capital One, I believe, and got offers from all of them. Here's the funny part. He used the, the tool he built, obviously, to take these coding interviews and pass them. So he got multiple job interviews just showing how broken the system is by using AI to uh, cheat on them and ultimately get job offers. And now the story gets even better in like an absolute savage, this kid, posted the video online of how he cheated and what his software does for all of the world to see. The companies obviously saw it and immediately rescinded his offers, right? And they, he eventually got kicked out of Columbia too, but I think his program is making a shitload of money. Uh, you guys can go check it out. I believe it's called Interview Coder. Um, so if you want, yep, interviewcoder.co uh, from this kid named Roy Lee, check that out if you want. Um, but yeah, absolutely insane story. This kid's a savage, but it just goes to show you how broken the coding interview system is. But the bigger point here is that coding interviews as we know them are radically changing or are going to have to radically change. They're basically done. And honestly, I think that's a good thing. I personally hate the way that these coding interviews were structured. They require a lot of practice for stuff that you don't actually even use on the job uh, with stuff like lead code style interview interviews. And AI is completely changing that. But if you think that means you don't need to prep for interviews anymore and you can just use AI to cheat, you're sadly mistaken, you're gonna get wrecked. So for years, interviews have been about grinding on lead code, building take-home apps, and whiteboarding binary trees, right? But now, AI can solve most of that in seconds. So let's imagine you need a Swift UI app with MVVM and async networking, one prompt, boom, it's done. Need to optimize Jaxer's implementation, Claude's got you, ChatGPT's got you, whatever it may be, right? But here's the twist. AI can only enhance your performance if you actually know what you're doing, guys. You have to know what you're doing here. You can't just blindly use AI and expect to get a job, right? So you still have to be able to walk someone through your approach, explain trade-offs, debug on the fly. No AI is gonna save you when a senior engineer comes up to you and says, why did you choose this architecture or that data structure? And trust me, interviewers are gonna know when you're just regurgitating AI output, like you're an AI robot yourself, dude. They'll test your depth and they'll sniff you out fast if you're a fraud. So here's how smart engineers are winning now. They're using AI as a collaborator and not a crutch. So they're drafting solutions and then refactoring them with AI. They're practicing system design and getting feedback from AI, not building the entire system out with AI. They're simulating mock interviews and comparing answers with AI, not just getting the answers from AI, rather comparing them. They're also learning from AI's patterns only after you've tried solving it yourself first, right? So this is exactly why I made my interview prep course so this teaches you how to think like a senior engineer and how to approach real interviews. And these courses are available on my website at appstuff.io, guys. The links for this are in the description. We have interview mastery here where we do things like system design, data structures and algorithms, take home interviews and more. And then we have a full deep dive into data structures and algorithms as well. And we have some videos uh, that are free on the channel that are taken directly from these courses if you guys want a free preview. So essentially guys, AI is the new cheat code, but only if you know how to use it. If you're serious about landing your next IRS role, make sure you check out the courses here. It's the strategy I used to land offers that paid over 350K. 
and now it's available to all of you. So if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching this one, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below about how AI is affecting the interview landscape. Thanks for watching this one. We'll see you in the next we'll see you next time, guys. Peace.